Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over data binding. So when you bind something together, you write, you put it together. So it's just say you have two sticks and you bind them together. You get two sticks and you wrap them together, or bind them with glue or tape or something. Every time you move one stick, the other stick goes along with it, right? So that's the idea of binding. You put things together so they stick together. In data binding, when you get one object and you bind it to another, that other object takes the characteristics of that other object, okay? Um, <laughs> that may be a little bit confusing, and that may actually sound a little bit like interpolation, all right? Remember last video when we did the double mustaches and we said some type of variable inside of here? Let's just say greeting. So this variable right here, we did interpolation. Wherever we did the double mustache sign, this value would take the value be put in right here. So this information would be bound to the value of this. Anytime you change this, you change this. So that's the idea of data binding, okay? Now, now the question of course arises, why use data binding and not interpolation? And there is overlap in our functionality here. So um, what we can use with um, uh, interpolation, we can also use data binding and vice versa. Oh, but but there are things about binding you can bind more than just data and we'll go into that more in the future okay so for right now we're talking about data binding so with that in mind what we want to do let's just create an example um, of a template right here and it's going to be type equals text value equals enter name here and then there's going to be another div saying hello there and just to be fancy in this particular module I'll say um, the color is red so the div right here, the color hello there will be red. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And it's right here. Enter name here and hello there. Okay. So if we look at this particular element, we have type equals text value equals enter name here. Now, what if we want the value to be some variable here? Again, we, we can use interpolation and put the value right here, but we want to use data binding. So the syntax would be brackets here and right here. And that means this variable, or I'm sorry, this value, this attribute, okay? So it's an attribute of the input element. This attribute will have the characteristics of, and I'm going to put here, greeting. No, I'm going to put name instead, John Doe, because it's name of this right here. Okay, it gets a little confusing because this looks like a string, doesn't it? But this is just typical um, HTML syntax where it's not, this is not a string. This is just basically, you put those in quotation marks because that's what you're supposed to do in HTML, okay? So that's how we bind the value to the name, whatever this name is. So if we save that, it'll be John Doe instead. And if we change that, um, we put it, let's just say Jane Doe. It'll change that there. See, so this attribute is bound to name. Now, this is actually not an attribute. Actually, this is a an a DOM property. We'll go over that more in the future. But for right now, we'll just accept that these this thing, whether it's a DOM property or an attribute, it's an attribute. I'll just call it an attribute for right now. Is bound to this variable and this, which is happens to be the value of Jane Doe, okay? So the other way in which you can present this is bind. It's just the keyword bind dash value. That'll do the exact same thing. So we'll redo this. It works just as well, okay? I think they call this the conventional way or classical way or something like that of doing it, bind dash value. I, 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 I'm not exactly sure why. I didn't really care to look into it that much. Sorry. But um, from what I understand, this is pretty much the standard syntax which you're supposed to use. If you're going to use bind, it works just as well. But, but um, this is, I think, the preferred syntax. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. So there's a couple of characteristics that we 
have to keep in mind. So right here in the text of the div, this is the inner HTML or the inner text, um, what we could do is we could, again, put the double mustache right here, so for interpolation, but you cannot just put greeting inside of here or anything. You can't bind this information. What you would have to do instead is you would say, um, again, syntaxes, brackets, inner HTML, you can always do that, equals greeting. So that would be right here, greeting right here. It would go the inner HTML for the div element right here. So it would, it would replace the hello there instead. And so that's how you can actually bind information right inside of here. So if you want to change this information right here, um, remember in times past, we would do something like just a, an output, and then we would do a query selector and um, this object.text equals this. Now we can actually just use this and we don't need to do that query dot selector, that object. All we have to do is just change the value of the greeting in and of itself. So change it to good morning. And whenever I change the value of greeting, I can go ahead and change the value of good morning. And that makes it really nice and simple, okay? Um, there's no real limitations on what you can do. You could change basically as long as you bind these properties together. There's really no limitation on what to actually do. For example, um, type equals, oh, right here, input type. I'm going to say type. Again, so what we have in these brackets are existing attributes or um, attributes to these tags, right? We already have those inside of there. So I'm not just putting any variable inside there. I'm just putting variable X or something like that. It has to be an actual attribute. So it could be type, it could be value, it could be ID. It could, if you want to change the ID of a, of a certain tag or, or element, excuse me. So you can do all of those. But I'm going to say type equals input type right here. So remember, this is not a string. This is actually this variable right here. So what should actually happen? Well, the type is bound to this, so it will change it to type equals button, right? So instead, when I, excuse me, sorry, oh, hang on. When I refresh this, this will actually turn from a text um, input element to a button element, right? So that's how we can do that. So, you know, it's, it's very flexible in what you can actually do. And I think if we look at this, we can already see that it's pretty nice. We can already do a lot of different things, nothing new. So it's not like we're doing something new that we couldn't do before, but at least it, it makes it a little bit easier and maybe a little bit easier to follow to do some of these things. Okay, so let's keep that in mind and let's keep going on with binding. Thanks.